Hunter Local Land Services was after a snapshot of what was happening in the peri-urban areas with regards to vertebrae pests. REM was engaged to set up motion cameras to actually see whether there was any vertebrae pests that were impacting these smaller peri-urban areas. Peri-urban properties lie on the fringes of our built up urban areas and also are on the fringes of our larger rural properties. The peri-urban area has been highlighted as one of those hot spots where because of the land size and its location, it's kind of missed. Urban areas are looked after by local councils with rangers dealing with any stray dogs or cats. In the rural areas, farmers and property owners are basically managing any vertebrae pests because of their impact on their stock and their actual income or profit. These areas are kind of missed because they're smaller and can't use the traditional vertebrae pest management programs or techniques to eliminate or reduce the numbers. As a result, you've got these areas, these peri-urban areas that are impacted by foxes, wild dogs, feral cats, pigs, deer. The cameras were set up for a 13 week period and were periodically checked throughout the program. The six sites in the Upper Hunter were basically spaced across three areas, including Denman, Barami and Sandy Hollow. At those three locations, there was actually two properties at each of those locations and one camera placed on each of the properties. So there were six cameras all up and those sites were basically chosen because of their peri-urban interface and the interface they had with larger adjoining land holdings. And they're also chosen because of community participation. The sites were also linked in with land care projects and also areas of interest for local land service as far as vegetation and fauna were concerned. Once we set up the motion cameras, the results were very interesting. There were definitely vertebrae pests at the six locations that we undertook monitoring at. We had interesting results for the vertebrae pests that were identified as well as the native animals. So vertebrae pests across the six sites range from wild dogs and foxes through to wild deer. The native fauna range from native birds through to echidnas and wombats. Across all sites, red foxes were identified on the motion cameras at each location. And it's interesting to note that it's not just one fox that was located at the sites. In cases, multiple foxes traveling back and forth daily or twice through a 24 hour period or more. We also had deer that was found on a site at Sandy Hollow. We had feral cats or stray cats, up to three of them in just one location. And I suppose as an environmental scientist, it's very distressing knowing that at one site, we've got at least three cats moving in and out daily and nightly. Cats have a huge impact on our native wildlife, especially our avifauna or our native birds and our smaller mammals. At least one vertebrae pest was actually photographed on each of the six properties. European foxes were the dominant pest species. They were captured on camera at each of the six properties. Wild rabbits, Indian miners and common starlings were the next dominant species. Two out of the six properties had these. Feral and stray cats were definitely an issue at one of the properties in Denman on the Yarra Wall Road. Wild deer were photographed and sighted in the Sandy Hollow area, as was a wild dog. Feral pigs were an issue once again in um, the property on Yarra Wall Road in Denman. Crossing across now to the native fauna that was captured on the monitoring cameras, it's pleasing to note that Despite numbers of vertebrae pests across these six locations, there was a really good variety of native animals, ranging from brush-tailed possums to the common wombat. There was also an echidna at one of the sites. We have kangaroos and wallabies that were high in numbers across the various sites. And we also had um, small microbats. 
Native birds were identified at five of the six locations and there was a variety of native birds across those five sites. The interesting thing with our avifauna is we didn't set the cameras up to capture them so realistically there'd be much higher numbers and a variety of species at these six locations. Once again, cats and foxes really play havoc with our native birds. So if we can reduce those stray and wild cat and fox numbers, we'll see a nice increase in the species diversity and number of native birds across these peri-urban areas. Due to the presence of the pest animals, it is apparent that peri-urban areas will require assistance in managing, controlling and eliminating vertebrae pests, which will in turn assist in protecting our native fauna. I suggest if you believe that you have any of these vertebrae pests visiting your land, get in contact with your local land services who will be able to steer you in the right direction. They actually have motion sensor cameras available for use on your site and they'll give you a range of instructions on how to establish it to see actually what's out there. They will then steer you in the right direction. They have a range of cage traps to assist in catching, you know, your feral or stray cats or foxes. If you're getting into the bigger uh, wild dogs, pigs, etc. They'll be able to steer you in the right direction and work with you to undertake vertebrae pest management programs to reduce and hopefully eliminate these animals on your property.